out to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video we are going to make a simple video on how to cut our basic bodies and we are also going to achieve our side dart which is also known as our boss dart in the course of this video so i have my pattern paper my pattern master my hip curve tape measure and a pair of scissors for this training so the first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our basic measurements. Now this is our shoulder measurement. This is our shoulder measurement and we are going to mark our shoulder to our nipple is 10 inches. Shoulder to under bust is 13 and a half. Shoulder to waist 17 and a half. And our top length or our basic bodice is 23 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it again. 10 inches, 13 and a half, 17 and a half, and 23 inches. I'll go ahead with my pattern master and connect the lines together. To go ahead and label it this is our bust point our under bust our waist and our top length or the length for our basic bodies what we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our dart measurement which is I'm going to mark my dart measurement which is four inches I'm going to mark my dart measurement which is four inches I'll go in with my pattern master and connect the lines now on the waist line I'm going to go ahead and mark half inch on both sides mark half inch on both sides on my bust point i will come down with two inches because we don't want our dart to get up to our bust point i'll come down with two inches and also where we have the top length i will come up with two inches i will go ahead and connect the lines together lines this is what we have and get our chest line or our arm o and the measurement for that is your bust measurement divided by six plus one point two five or mark half inch above your bust point so we are going to get the same result so this is what we have for our chest line i will go ahead and connect the line So this line now becomes our chest line and mark our neckline. The standard neckline, the width of the standard neckline is 3 inches. And the depth for the standard neckline is 3 inches. So I will go ahead and connect the lines together. So this is what we are going to have now i'm going to go ahead and mark my shoulder measurement which is eight inches shoulder measurement which is eight inches go ahead and mark your bust measurement which is 10.5 
my waist measurement which is 10 and my hip measurement which is 11.5 so go ahead and connect connect these lines together Once we are done with that, we are going to connect our shoulder line to our bust line. So I just extended my shoulder line to where we have our chest line. Now, because this is the front block, the front block I'm O, I'm going to go in with one quarter towards this part you go ahead and use your arm o curve and connect it so this becomes your front arm o you can see that your front arm o goes in at this part so the shoulder line you go ahead and mark one inch for our shoulder slope you connect it to your neckline because our shoulder is not straight so this is what you have now for us to get our side dart which is also known as our bust dart you go ahead and check what you have for your arm o so our arm o now is nine inches because we took we, we took away one inch for the shoulder slope now divide your arm o by two we have four and a half so this is what we have Go ahead and connect it to your chest line. Make sure you don't have like a sharp joining around this part. Make sure you don't have a sharp point around this part. Now, on your bust line now, on your chest line, mark half inch on both sides. mark half inch on both sides let me just extend it mark half inch on both sides and come up with two inches from the chest line so you connect these two lines just like the way you do for your dart to this point so we go ahead and connect it So this is what we have. Now, we are going to go ahead and add to our allowance basically because, because of this one inch we took at the waistline and also for this one inch we took for the bust that. So we go ahead and add to our sewing allowance. Now, when you get to the waist, make sure you include the one inch you took for your waist to the extra sewing allowance. So if you are taking two inches all through, for your waist, you are going to make it three inches. So I'll go ahead and connect our new measurement. Now, we are also going to go ahead and add to our length. Why are we adding to the length? Basically because we have about one inch here for our bust that by the time you stitch this one inch, 
your top length is going to move up so you go ahead and add this one inch you took back to your length So we'll go ahead and connect the lines. Now, this is what we are going to have for the front block. You can see our bust that and our basic that. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. This is what the front block looks like. You can see our that, our bust that, our arm or neckline, and of course we also increase the length. So for the lower part of your top, you can decide to leave it straight this way or you give it a curved shape. It depends, but make sure you also add to your top length so that by the time you stitch this one inch, the short, um, the front length can also be balanced. So this is for the front block. This is the back block. The first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and place our front block on it we go ahead and trace out the lines our chest line our bust line under bust waist and the top length so we go ahead and connect the lines together so this is what we have so we go ahead and mark two inches for our zip allowance we mark two inches We'll go ahead and connect it all the way. So this becomes our zip. We label our chest line, bust point, our under bust, waist, and the top length. Now, once we are done with that, we go ahead and mark our 4 inches for our dart. Mark 4 inches. We go ahead and connect it all the way. Now, on this part, we'll come down with 1 inch. And we'll come up with two inches. On our waistline, we'll go ahead and mark half inch on both sides. Go ahead and connect these four dots together. So this is what we have for the dart. Now, once we are done with that, we we'll go ahead and mark our neckline, which is three inches. But note that we are starting from where our zip allowance starts. So we mark three inches for the wideness and for the depth, we mark one inch. So we go ahead and connect it together. So this is what we have. So we go ahead and mark our shoulder measurement, which is 8 inches. Note that we are starting from after the zip line. We mark 8 inches. Go ahead and mark our bust measurement, which is 10.5. Our waist measurement, which is 10. And we mark our hip measurement. So we go ahead and connect these lines together. Now, once we are done with that, we'll go ahead and connect our shoulder line to our bust line. So for the back block, we are going to maintain the straight line to get our arm O. We are not going in on like the front block where we went in. So this is what we have. Now on the shoulder line, we'll go ahead and mark one inch for our shoulder slope. Go ahead and connect it to your neckline. So 
So this is what we are going to have. Go ahead and add our sewing allowance to it. You can add your sewing allowance directly on the fabric or directly on the pattern. So we go ahead and add our sewing allowance, which is two inches. But on this waistline, because we have one inch here, you also go ahead and add it on your waistline. So we go ahead and connect our new sewing allowance together. Now this becomes our new sewing allowance. You also go ahead and add sewing allowance to the length because we are going to go ahead and stitch the shoulders together. So I'm going to use one inch for my length. So we go ahead and connect our new length. So this is what we are going to have. This is what we are going to have. Block now to eliminate that form of bulkiness around the back area, especially around our waistline. And this is our waistline. This is our under bust. This is our bust point and our chest line. So to eliminate that bulkiness around the waist area, I'm going to show you guys how to achieve that. Now for our zip allowance, we have two inches for our zip allowance, right? But basically because our zip, when you are fixing your zip, it doesn't get towards the lower part of your basic bodies. And you also want to eliminate that bulkiness because our back is not this straight okay like our back has like a curve so around your waist area go ahead and deduct one inch or one and a half inches so i'm going to go ahead and deduct one inch so this is where i have for my one inch now now on the bust line on our bust line come down with one inch come down with one inch on the bust line and come up with one inch around the length so we go ahead and connect this together this is how to eliminate that bulkiness around your zip region So this is what this is what we have. We went ahead to take away about one inch or one and a half around the waist area, and we came down with one inch from the bust point, one inch from our top length, and you can see that curve. Once you are done with that, you also move in with half inch or one inch around the waistline. Also, you also. You also move in with one inch. So you go ahead and connect this also. Just like the way you did for this part. So with this now you can see. You can see this curve. It's smooth in so you have like this curve at the back to eliminate that bulkiness you might have around the waist region because we've gotten that slope of the shape of our back block and that is why we are also going to achieve that also on the pattern so what we are going to do now for the back block we are not having any bust that because definitely we don't have bust around our back so the only thing you need to take note of in the back block is to eliminate that bulkiness around the waist region. And this is what you are going to have. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. So when you want to cut it, you are cutting out this part. You are cutting it off because you want to eliminate that bulkiness around the back block. And... Of course, this is where we are going to fix in our zip. 
we go ahead and cut out our basic bodies this is what we will have for the back block and you can see that curve going in so you've eliminated that curve around this area because you can see that slope already so by the time you're fixing your zip the back is going to lay perfectly well see our arm all went in and we added extra two inches to the top length because of this bust that and for the back we just added extra one inch because you don't have any bust that's around here and also for the back we also took note of the front how to eliminate that bulkiness around the waistline so this is what we have thanks so much for